Hey guys, it's Jenny. And for the past year, someone has been messaging me every week asking for a tutorial on how to build a robot that makes them friends. So this week I decided, why not? But first I gotta hook you in with robotics. Hey kid, do you wanna build a robot? Yeah, yeah, yeah? Well now you can, because this week I'm gonna teach you how to build that. Wow. Step by step by step. Crazy. Awesome. Add a character to the car. Target. The first thing you're gonna do is get a new jacket or sweatshirt, preferably oversized. But if not, something that just makes you feel good. Right. Work it. And then we're gonna go over to the craft section and get some foam board and some markers, you know, crafts. And finally, we're gonna come over to the hanger section and get yourself a, a nice juicy one. You know, one that's like wire and flexible. Wait a second, actually, no, we don't need that. Finally, you're gonna get some bread. Not for eating, but for robot catfishing. Just perfect. So for this robot, we're gonna be transforming ourselves into the ultimate beacon of envy. Something so succulent, so abominable, we might as well not even be doing robotics. Thank you. You're welcome. I'd like to call this outfit the entree. The entree. Basically, this robot is gonna consist of two parts. The robotic hat and the bread collar. Bread collar. Now the collar is gonna be what reels them in. But not so fast, haters! In addition to making you a lot of friends, this robot also helps you remain dangerous. For the robotic hat, we're gonna be lining it with five movable spikes that drop down to protect your bread. So this way, all your new friends can have some bread, but all your enemies can taste the hammer. And now I'm gonna be showing you the supplies. So the first step is that we're gonna be cutting our circle. So first we're gonna be taking our foam. And the thing about science and circles is that geometry, geometry. So for the hat, we're gonna be cutting out one circle that is 13 inches in diameter. And we're gonna be cutting the collar in two parts because we're gonna have to take it off somehow. In order to cut these circles, a trick that I learned at C was to cut a piece of yarn the radius of the circle. And then we're gonna take a pencil and tie it to the other end of the yarn so that we can draw a circle and it'll be a circle. And then we're gonna cut it out with this X-Acto knife. Caution. Despite the fact that science can be fun, it is not all games and this knife is in fact not a toy. But Junie, how do you get out of the collar? Knives! Are not toy. <laughs> you can just use your hands. But Junie, what do we do with all the extra foam pieces? I mean, there's so much extra foam. Don't even trip, because we're gonna turn them into spikes. Did you change your shirt to match the spikes? I spelled something. Now that we have our spikes, it's time to attach them to the robot. And in order to do that, I'm gonna be using dowel rods. I literally do this every week. So now we're gonna attach our motors to our hat circle. And in order to do this, you can use, you know, double-sided tape, you can use like... <laughs> but here's the thing. In order to keep the dowel rod from hitting against the edge of the hat, you have to cut a little square in the path that the dowel rod is gonna pass through. And finally, with the motors in place, you can start wiring everything, starting with your Raspberry Pi. But be warned, the Raspberry Pi is a machine of its own, more powerful than the time I got stuck in a well. The Raspberry Pi is a self-contained computer, and it can be used independently with a monitor and a keyboard, or it can be connected to a laptop and run headlessly. That's what they call it. The code is gonna consist of two parts. One is gonna be the analog input, looking for the push button. And two is gonna be the sequence of movements of the spikes. All you gotta do is turn it on, press the button, and boom! Everybody's making friends. The friend bot is the only way to make friends with robots and also scare your enemies. I did this for you, one subscriber that's been messaging me for almost a year now. I bet you've changed a lot since then. Jimmy, the bread bot. That's right, all you gotta do is press the button and boom! No! No! Not today, haters! Oh, I'm sorry, did you want some bread, Bob? Don't get in my zone! 
Yeah, so that was fun. I hope I helped you made friends. And I hope that this helped the person who's been commenting on every one of my videos. Actually, I never do this, but I think it's time that I reveal their identity. Cut the bit! And if you want to hang out with me online, I have... I have all this. You know, I, I got all these... Thanks, patrons.